Right now, I'm maybe two thirds into treatment for uh, breast cancer. We're on Salt Spring Island, which is about a 45 minute ferry ride from Victoria. I live in a very interesting part of Vancouver Island. The nearest cancer facility for me is in Victoria, which is a four hour drive. Clients say that it's been nice for them to uh, be able to have the appointment without traveling. For us to get to a ferry, take the ferry, get into Victoria, back again, and so on and so forth, that's a whole day gone. Where this way, uh, Dr. Sulfur and I can talk and it takes maybe half an hour out of my time and I'm sure it's less time for him too. Dr. Sulfur will be right with you shortly, okay? Okay, thank you. From my perspective as a provider, it helps keep me very, very organized. I can stay in one place, I have all my charts, um, I can keep people on time. The reason why I wanted to start virtual health was when I realized that I would have to possibly go down twice a month because I was doing blood tests every two weeks. It just did not seem feasible. To do the appointment over the virtual health is really good for them. I've had good feedback from the clients. It seems to be fairly user-friendly, easy to use um, for them and also for me. The technical aspect of this whole program is almost effortless. I get an email, I put it on my calendar, it reminds me, and then I join in the lobby and I wait. Good morning, Jennifer. Are you ready for your virtual health appointment today? And then my doctor will come on, just like that. 